TV Dean H and Dean family. Later today we doing a reaction. Something different, something informational and something it's called it's called the terrifying truth about the Antichrist and shoot it's something educational, something that y'all might wanna might need to educate y'all self on and you feel me because shoot it's about learning and evolving and developing to a better person and developing to your better self, you feel me? And raising your conscience and vibration and yeah, it's gonna be something religious and shoot. Hoping this, hopefully, hopefully this opens some people's eyes. You feel me? No further ado, let's get into the reaction. Roll to a milli, a billy, a hundred k. So click the subscribe button, check out the DNTV clothing merch. Also, let's get into it. The Antichrist is usually understood to be a really bad guy who makes everyone worship Satan and who has something to do with the end of the world. Many Christians. Yeah, or just got. The deal with a lot of people dying in the spirit, while others want him to show up so Armageddon can start. Here's the story behind the Antichrist. The Antichrist so goes. We gotta learn something about the Antichrist. So get your notepads out, notebooks open. We gotta learn today. So write down your write down the most important sentence or topic in it. Classes in session. Hand in hand with the Bible. So it's weird how little the Holy Book mentions him. In fact, the term that is true. That Christ only I'd be saying that a lot. Here's four times, and all in the book of John. But John doesn't talk about one evil guy who is going to come at the end times. Facts. He says there have already been lots of antichrists, including absolutely everyone who doesn't believe in Jesus. Yeah, and that's just weird. But you're not a Christian, so what do you believe? Even outside of the Bible, early Christians didn't care much about the Antichrist. While he never used the word That's the Antichrist, the idea... That's suspicious, so if it wasn't no Antichrist from to begin with, so where the fuck the Antichrist come from? So you, so basically, like I've been saying, the whole entire, they made the fuck, they made some shit up and try to lower our vibration and negative shit. Like, it's crazy how they do. Like, bro, like... This video tells you that they've been lying to us the whole entire time. Like, bro, like, they misleading the masses. Like, wake up. Like, I'm tired of saying the same shit over and over and over. Like, bro, come on. A single person who would go against God comes from the Old Testament's Daniel. But Daniel did have a specific person in mind, the ruler of Palestine, Antiochus Epiphanes. He wasn't talking about a vague future evil entity. He was saying a specific person was horrible. It was I mean, if that's the case, if, if we got a lot of people toxic and, and uh, do bad shit and awful stuff now, so is they Antichrist? Because they a horrible person. Like, come on now, like. It wasn't until a thousand years after Jesus died that some comment below. You, uh, comment below what you what you think about this. But he finally wrote down who exactly the Antichrist was going to be. When the Queen of France asked a monk named Adso for specific details, he basically got free reign to make up whatever he wanted. The so he just basically. Like I fucking said, made up some shit and everybody ran with the shit. Like, bro, bro, bro. I've been saying this for the longest and people don't listen. And people don't, people take me as a joke. Like, bro, bro, the truth be right in front of you, but you want to create an illusion and just disregard it. Like, come on. Better he wrote the queen when as viral as something good for the Middle Ages. And for hundreds of years, what Adso said about the Antichrist was, for lack of a better term, gospel. See? Look at that gospel. <laughs> they gossip. They gossip. They created, they created a theory, an illusion of a person that ain't even real. Like, think about this. Satan ain't even real. But Jesus is. I like, think about Satan, the devil. That nigga ain't real, for real, for real. Like, bro, that's... Call me dad. The queen was worried that she was living in the last days and wanted to know what to be on the lookout for. It's like, if you pay attention to what's going on around you, you can talk about these things and comment these things and tell what's going to happen. Like, it's not... It's easy logic, like common sense, like, but it's like, maybe, 
maybe these people back then they had they wasn't high frequency or high 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 vibration. They vibration probably wasn't high. They probably was living in fear. Ugh. Otso believed that the Antichrist would show up at the end of the Holy Roman Empire. He'd be born a Jew in Babylon, and he'd be the most wicked man of all time. But he would look a lot like the second coming of Christ. He'd go to Jerusalem to minister, perform miracles, and re. And we think about this. It's like. So you telling me. Oh, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Everyone would follow him, but he would persecute Christians for three and a half. That's awful. That's awful. That's kind of awful. Years. Fortunately, the real Jesus would come to defeat him. And that, that's tough. You can take it all away from me. My Rolex, my cars, my home, my... Hey, that's like the, that's like the election, the president's election. You After know? Otso, the medieval because, idea like, of the uh, Antichrist hold on, hold on, was Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's like the presidential election. Like, after three to four years, after that person get done with their turn, you got someone else to come in and come into office, and they think who's better or worse, what the case may be. And people idolize them as a god, as an icon, as this just, just, just magnificent, just majestic majestic person you feel me like it's wild and that shit crazy how that just go cor coronate just with each other we set until another monk came along in the 1100s with his own stuff to add joachim of Fira was so obsessed with the antichrist that he actually became famous in his own lifetime for being its go-to prophecy person other than the author of Revelation, Joachim was probably the most important apocalyptic thinker ever. He saw the end times as right around the corner. But according to Joachim, there would be many antichrists over time. And it's like, you're repeating the history of what these people what these people wrote. What these people wrote, what these people seen. And y'all cool with that? The fuck? Like, y'all feeding these people a hand, eating at it, and just repeating the same cycle, like... We should stop this cycle while we can, you feel me? Like, before, like, w when is it gonna be, I'm tired, I'm done with this, I'm tired of repeating. Like, when you gonna want that change, you feel me? Some, like Nero, Mohammed, and Sadolin had okay. already lived. They were Antichrist more generally, but there would be a single one that would signal the beginning of the end. In Revelation, it's Gog who shows up to battle Gog. the Christians. What? Gog? What? Joachim tied the final Antichrist to Gog using that name. And after a thousand years, Revelation and the Antichrist... And to take away the D at the end is God. Christ were finally connected. Martin Luther started out as a monk who had some polite ideas on how the Catholic Church could improve. When no one listened to him, he published his 95 theses and effectively started his own version of Christianity. Now think about this. They rewrote the Bible. They keep rewriting the Bible now. And look what we get. Look what the Bible that we have now. Like think about this now. They keep rewriting the shit. So we don't know what the true Bible and true Christianity and Antichrist, all that ain't real. Like, yeah, the Bible tells predicts and tells the truth of what high society and society is currently because it's like these elite people keep on repeat the history of that keep happening and like people just keep falling into their trap in their hands instead of waking up and be like okay i am be the person that i want i want to be i want to help be the change you feel me like your father did you feel me like God want us to do, you feel me? Like, he don't want us to suffer, want us to struggle, want us to go through this pain, that we're going through this, all this hell on earth, you feel me? Like, Christianity, which would become Protestantism. After that, he was locked in a struggle with the Pope, which made it pretty convenient that Luther would go on to discover the entire concept of papacy was the Antichrist. 
Although he didn't want to come to that conclusion, Luther was forced to when the Catholic Church refused to acknowledge the problem with indulgences and paying for salvation. He saw Catholicism, specifically the man at the head of it, as deliberately trying to undermine Christ while also trying to take Jesus' place by claiming to represent him. These things made the current... Think about this. Think about this. The Pope is over everything, over all the religions now. All the religions. And he got the last say so. So think about this. He's part of the Antichrist. He probably having things like, okay, we gonna we, we ain't gonna give them that type of information. Let them feel superior, make them feel like they can they they can change, make them feel like they got the power to change, make them feel like they superior, make they feel like they great. Like they wanna you dumb down. They want you a low frequency, low vibration. They want you at that God frequency, you feel me? And Pope, and indeed all the popes, Antichrist. After Martin Luther, people stopped thinking of the Antichrist as a single person for hundreds of years. It's the Antichrist. The Antichrist became a thing in the past, while something being Antichrist, that is, against Christianity, was in vogue. These days, it's so common to speak of the Antichrist that older documents referring only to Antichrist sometimes have the word the inserted in brackets in front of it, as if the original author made a mistake by leaving it out. But the Antichrist was considered a concept, not a person in need of a definitive article. You are the devil. So they just made it up to take the blame off themselves or to not take responsibility for something. So what changed? Weirdly, Nietzsche might be largely responsible for their responsibilities for when they doing wrong. So they chose, so that's why they created the devil, right? That's fucked up. The switch from Antichrist back to the Antichrist. In 1895, he published a very anti-Christian book called The Antichrist, and the term became widespread. Called this dead? By the 1970s, Christians had fully accepted the Antichrist as an individual again. Wow. This year, Walmart during Black Friday gets deals for days. Starting Saturday, November 14th, That's score deals of like $139 shark stick vacuum in store and online. Let's end the year saving bigger. Jesus is an important figure in Islam, so it makes sense that Islam has its own version of the Antichrist. The deceiving Messiah doesn't actually appear in the Quran, but he does come up in the Hadith, which contains sayings attributed to the Prophet Muhammad. Unlike the Bible, the Hadith goes into great detail about who he is, what he'll look like, and where he'll come from. The Hadith describes the Antichrist as a heavy-set man with one eye, a ruddy face, and curly hair. He also has Arabic... What? Letters spelling unbelief on his forehead, so he should be easy to pick out of the lineup. Much like the Christian version of the Antichrist, he'll show up during times of chaos, go to Jerusalem, be followed. So, like times like right now, right? By the Jews and others, and perform miracles. While it's unclear whether he'll reign for 40 days or 40 years, what is clear is that Jesus will return to save the day. And, according to tradition, the Antichrist is already on Earth can't show himself just yet name a powerful man in history that is interesting that is very interesting it's guaranteed someone thought he was the antichrist there were the more obvious candidates like hitler but anyone with any amount of authority could qualify in fact virtually every pope has been accused of being the antichrist along with Nero. so basically anybody could be the antichrist henry kissinger mikhail gorbachev and napoleon among others Born in the image of the greatest power in the world. U.S. presidents are a popular Antichrist contender, reportedly. So, the only way you can be an Antichrist if you in politician, presidential, or you a celebrity, or a freaking famous entertainer, or a musician. That's what they're telling me right now. So if that's true, then we, we've been looking up to these people... They we've been idolizing for years, and they've been fucking, fucking, fucking misleading us. Yeah, we may love their entertainment, but shoot, what? Who are them as a person? That's the thing. 
The first to be seriously accused was FDR, as his support of the How UN was considered a bit too one-world government for many Christians. JFK was obviously a concern for some Protestants, since he was Catholic, and a man tried to kill Reagan in 1990, telling the Secret Service agents who stopped him that he had to do it because the former president was the Antichrist. Believe it or not, modern science hasn't affected people's belief in the Antichrist. In a 2010 Harris Interactive poll, 14% of Americans thought President Obama might be the Antichrist. When broken down by police... That's crazy, but... He, shoot, he helped out with their agenda. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's crazy. ...political party, a full quarter of Republicans thought it was a possibility. That's pretty much. You think, like, he probably not the Antichrist. Like, he probably helping out with the agenda, but nah, he ain't the Antichrist. Because it's like, a lot of people helping out with their, their agenda, but it's like, they ain't the Antichrist. No thoughts either. In 2011, a heckler accused Obama of being the Antichrist at a fundraiser. And a man took shots at the White House the same year, saying God told him to kill the Antichrist. Where are all the Christian singles at? You need to try this new free Christian really, app. Really, people? Upward is a place to connect you with people who have shared up values. Upward. Simple. Easy up to use and you can make a profile up, in up, minutes. Skilled. Mr. President. Historically, anti-Semitism and the belief in the Antichrist have gone hand in hand. Since, the assumption has been that the Antichrist would be the demonic twin of Jesus. And because Jesus was Jewish, the Antichrist should be as well. I am not an evil man. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. So he's, he's basically saying he's the opposite of Jesus. Okay, so basically just a toxic individual. More to the story. The idea led to a lot of hatred of Jews during the Middle Ages. If the Antichrist was going to emerge from their group, the assumption... That's kind of messed up, because it's like, we going to point the finger at y'all, because y'all might have that mother come over that come from out, out, out your land. So we going to... Damn, that's messed up. Mess with y'all. That's messed up. Like, damn. Like, religion is fucked up, for real, for real, when you think about this now. Like, bro, 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 bro. The Bible, bro. People who made this in control, bro, that's messed up. Like, dang, and, you see, and these people who actually, people who actually just let this, like, bro, this, this shit crazy. Was they all must be demonic and sinister. Somehow, this connection did not disappear in modern times. In 1999, Baptist Reverend Jerry Falwell got heat for his assertion during a speech that not only was the Antichrist probably already alive, but that, quote, of course he was Jewish. When called out for his remarks, Falwell tried to defend himself by saying he only meant the Antichrist must be Jewish because Jesus was Jewish. That's assuming, and you know what that assuming means? Assuming makes a fool out of yourself, okay? So based more to the story, you don't know who may be the Antichrist, okay? So it's like, stop assuming for race or what color. That, that's stupid. Like, damn. Like, huh, motherfuckers. Homophobia, like anti-Semitism, has often been connected with the Antichrist. The idea goes back to the Bible's book of Daniel. While Daniel... And I was just talking about that. Obama pushed for their agenda. LGBT community, he supported the mess out of that and loved that it pushed that on everybody. ...never uses the actual word Antichrist, and in fact, was almost certainly talking about a specific ruler of Palestine when he wrote it. People have interpreted his mention of a single man who would defy God as being a reference to the figure. Everybody be trying to find God now in this, in this reality, you feel me, in this matrix. It's crazy. And it's like... I'm tired of using the word matrix now, because it's like, it's getting wild, because it's like, am I wasting my breath? Like, is people actually listening? Because it's like, I'm repeating the same thing over and over. about this individual daniel throws in this piece of information he will show no regard for the gods of his fathers or for the desire of women it's that 
That's crazy. Whoa. Dang. Mm. Last bit that some have decided to fix it. If the Antichrist isn't going to desire women, he's gay. Therefore, being gay is bad. You believe in the devil? Oh, wow. It's actually interesting. I never thought about nothing like that before. Like, this video actually got some deep stuff in it. Like, wow. Because women are the universe. It's like, we cannot produce more people without women. Like, women are the key. You feel me? Like, women are gods of life. You feel me? Like, they give life to this world. So, respect women. Respect the female. But also, females, you gotta respect the man. You feel me? Because there won't be no life without a man. Also, you feel me? Because you need a man to create the universe create the world, you feel me? Because we all come hand in hand. We all equal and need each other, you feel me? They look like me. According to one TV evangelist, Daniel indicates that the Antichrist will be a sexual pervert, most likely a homosexual. Another preacher opined, I do not believe that there is any question but that the Antichrist will be a homosexual. All this homophobia is based on one line of a text that was originally in a different language. And it's been pointed out that other translations of this scripture are much different. But for those who want to tie homosexuality to the most evil entity of all time, that's not important. I think homosexuality is not that bad. It's like, that don't people live their life at the end of the day. Important. Because like at the end of the day, them being gay not bothering you is not messing with you is not mess with, messing with your money not messing with your lifestyle not messing with your feelings like if someone gay let them be gay let them be happy uh, if somebody a lesbian let them be a lesbian let them be happy like everybody deserve happiness you feel me like i don't get that but it's like do 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 i want to see that no Heck no. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not cool with it, but I, 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 I understand that people deserve love, and I'm all for love and peace and positivity, you feel me? Revelation 13, 18 says, This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. He said you're the beast! As one historical source points out, the beast, who wasn't connected with the Antichrist for a thousand years, almost certainly represents the Roman Empire. And 666 is a well-known Jewish numerical code that translates to Nero. Early Christians had every reason to despise Nero as he... And if you didn't know what, the, what 666 actually means... I ain't gonna say that because I'm gonna just let y'all do y'all information on that because <sighs> some people can be toxic and toxic about getting information that they don't want to receive. Practice the religion. There is nothing mystical or evil about the number, but the irrational fear of the number 666 is a real thing. All I could think about was facts. The number. While most people with the phobia are Christian, it does affect those of other religions and even some with no religion. It might present as something small. For example, if a purchase comes to $6.66, they'll grab something else to buy so the price changes. Or it can have a truly negative effect on their life, one in which they avoid the number at all costs, see it everywhere, and associate it with bad luck. Some people see... See how that control the opposition while I be talking about? They try to control you, control your mind, control you and make you think something and it's not real. Like bro, like bro, I've been saying this for the longest and people don't listen. Like bro, pay attention and listen and understand and understand me when I say this. Like Ain't no cap. Like, pay attention. Do your research. Like, bro. Bro. I hate it here. Antichrist everywhere. 
The number 666 has been interpreted to reference the emergence of barcodes on products, the UN, the EU, even the WWW at the beginning of web addresses. In 1997, Procter & Gamble sued Amway because it was spreading rumors that the company was satanic and had 666 hidden in its logo. That's Other crazy. antichrist culprits include feminism and the Susan B. Anthony dollar. According to a 2019 report, the head of the Russian Orthodox Church claimed smartphones were paving the way for the Antichrist. But one of the biggest concerns for the Antichrist minded was rock music. Yeah, they did say rock music music was just possessive, demonic, all this other shit. They be saying a lot of shit demonic, like They be saying a lot of shit demonic, but what is really demonic for real, for real, like if that